What is up YouTube? This is Vault here, back again today with you guys, another new fun and casual speed to deck profile. As you guys can probably see, we're using the special bon Bones uh, and his Skull Servant Speed Duel Yu-Gi-Oh! Day exclusive limited edition playmat today for our deck along with our updated uh, DK Commander fun and casual zombie tiger uh, deck profile for you guys today. So <clears throat> as always, before we head straight into the deck profile, we're going to showcase off these magnificent Red Eye Zombie Necro Dragon sleeves that came out with the Red Eye Zombie Drag uh, the Zombie Horde Structure Deck Reloaded that came out like uh, probably half a year ago almost by now. And really, really cool deck and really, really, really nice sleeves that I just have to use for the Zombie Deck Profile, of course, along with our really nice Bones Skull Servant Speed Duel Playmat once again. So let's just go straight into it. First of all, um, there are two skills that you are viable to be played in this deck. So choose one or the other, uh, depending on what you like personally. And um, the first one is Ectoplasmic Fortification. We've probably w been through this a uh, couple of times if you guys been watching my other zombie deck profile videos. Uh, with Speed Duels, uh, Ectoplasmic Fortification is really, really great. Really, really rewarding when you're able to stack up those uh, counters onto this card and boost up the attack of your zombie monsters. But there is a huge trade-off is any damage you take uh, is doubled uh, involved with any zombie type monsters right there. So once again, the other safer route option you can take is straight to the grave, which basically gives you a default 200 attack and defense boost to all your zombie type monsters, which is really, really great as well. So choose one or the other, depending on what you like and your taste of playstyle, also what you try, guys try out. Um, comment down below which one you guys prefer, so uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Really interested. So that basically goes with our two possible skill cards. So remember, only you can only pick one of uh, either uh, to play in your deck. So moving into our monsters, straight off the bat, of course we need three DK commanders. And of course, uh, coming right up, we're also running three zombie tigers. So now, uh, just a quick explanation for you guys who don't know what this card does. Um, these two basically combo off each other. Um, you usually uh, bring zombie tiger and equip it uh, onto DK commander, onto your monster, and into your, like, as an equip spell. And then it basically uh, boosts up DK commander by 500 attack points. And each time you inflict uh, with DK commander is when you inflict bow damage to your opponent with a direct attack with this card, you can uh, basically discard one card off. Uh, from their hand, but when you equip it with a zombie tiger, you also gain this other effect where um, if uh, the equipped monster, which is a uh, DK commander, uh, destroys an opponent's uh, monster by battle, and then you can also discard one random card um, from your opponent's hand instead. And <clears throat> if uh, DK commander will be destroyed, you can destroy zombie tiger instead. So a pretty, pretty um, okay, decent combo, but being able to rip cards off your opponent's hand is actually pretty powerful, uh, which r does give you the uh, card advantage and stops their uh, plays from there. So it's kind of fun to if you when you do get to that stage and ripping their cards off. So next, we are running three double costumes. Uh, very simple reason why it's the strongest, um, one of the highest attack monsters that's level four currently in the game with 1700 attack, you know, on summon. Uh, and it's just zombie type. However, the effect of um, using it as t uh, requiring two tributes for a dark monster is really not um, a uh, choice, really. You you're really just using it as a beat stick overall in this deck. And then last but not least, to round off the monsters, we are playing two Zombinas. You know, for clutch situations that you can always just bring back your DK commander or zombie tiger or double costumes back from the graveyard and start attacking into your opponent again. Uh, in those uh, situations. So that basically yeah, rounds off all the monsters for this part. Uh, we're moving into spells, we're only just playing three. Uh, and three Pyramid of Wonders, which is really, really great. Some of you might want to play two instead because it might get kind of clunky when you have too many. And since you only have uh, three spaces in your spell and trap card zone, you probably rarely would have all three. But um, you know, this card is something that you do want to see uh, as soon as possible sometimes. Uh, and for, for the most case, actually not sometimes, all the time because it basically boosts up all your zombie uh, monsters by 200 attack points for each uh, monster your opponent controls. And also if that exactly one zombie type monster you control and no other cards will be destroyed, you can send this card from the graveyard instead. So, you know, it, it's kind of rare that you have all three clunked up into one space, into your spell and trap card zones, usually because you can, you know, it's really good protection for your DK commander or any type of your zombie monsters in general. So you can just send this card to the graveyard to protect them, uh, which is really, really troublesome for your opponents sometimes to go against. Now we're running into our traps. Uh, we are running 
three crew nine with chains. It's just really, really great uh, with this uh, within this deck. It is an equ uh, equip as well, and it basically boosts more attack on your zombie monsters. For the more, it even like changes your opponent's uh, monsters in battle positions. Makes DK Commander even more stronger. You can boost it up to two thousand, up to two thousand attack. Uh, if it is equipped with Zombie Tiger, which makes it 1500, equipped with Pure Knight of Chain becomes 2000. With Pure and with one of Wonders, at least it will be 2200. And with Ectoplasmic Fortification or Straight to Grave, um, you know, makes it a much more higher attack monster, which can actually become a very, very troublesome to deal with and very, very, very annoying for your opponents to overcome it, honestly, in some situations. And um, however, there is a downside, as you guys can probably understand, see that it requires a lot of cards. To build up to get to this point um, for that and some of you might think it's not worth it at all because it's just way too many resources and it's not fast and consistent enough but uh, keep in mind you guys this is a fun casual deck to play and bring into your locals just to try out and have some fun with your friends so it's not highly highly competitive you get if you guys are into competitive uh, speed duel decks uh, be sure to check out those uh, speed duel deck profiles with competitive uh, in its title those are the uh, uh, much much more um, high tier, tier 1 or above um, type of speed duel deck uh, profiles we have there on that channel as well. And then last but not least, we are running 3 Windstorms of Eve Aqua. It's just a very standard card that you must have staple in speed duels. Uh, that basically rounds up all the traps and for the main deck uh, for this part. And then into our side deck, uh, we are running 2 Dust Tornadoes uh, just for back row removal against your opponent's um, spell and trap cards that, that are annoying to deal with. And then also rounding off three ready for intercepting. Just really good against the tier, uh, tier one decks currently. Amazonas, uh, Gravekeepers, um, Relinquished, and Blue Eyes deck as well. Mentioned this many, 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 many times. And currently in this meta, this side deck is just, um, this card is just highly, highly, highly needed in, in the side deck. Or even some of you might even put it into your main deck. Uh, that basically rounds off this entire um, DK Commander Zombie Tiger uh, deck profile. Uh, you guys comment down below on what suggestions you guys would, would add. What guys, what cards would you would you take out as well? Uh, comment down below. Help each other out. Help you know optimize or maybe make this deck uh, even better. I'm really hopefully looking forward for more zombie supports coming out with Konami in the upcoming sets because zombies are a little bit underwhelming currently in the meta game. Um, so that's why this is uh, once again if this is a fun casual deck build right here just to have fun with your friends at the locals for the most part and play testing and just to you know uh, try things out right there um, also you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button if you guys are new to this uh, vault channel be sure to subscribe to the vault channel lots of lots of speed duel content on this channel coming up uh, basically this channel will focus a lot of on speed duels so if you guys are looking into speed duels be sure be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for all these uh, upcoming awesome and epic videos as well. Um, we also open um, uh, regular Yu-Gi-Oh products. Any new product that's come out uh, on the day of, we open that on this channel as well, so that you guys can check them out. Just have to have some fun and see what kind of kind of rare pools we can we can get from those as well. And yeah, uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. And this is Vault signing out.